friends raja nanda kumar case one of the very popular case among academicians the first case where british government given capital punishment to a indian raja nanda kumar was very influential with british government very loyal to british officials and interestingly in the year of 1756 he was placed as a governor for hubli in the year of 1774 the british government enacted a law and established a supreme court at bengal by the time raja nanda kumar was having some issue with then governor general warren hastings and raja nanda kumar collected lot of evidences against warren hastings accused him for bribery and corruption and submitted a report before one of the council member when the council member advised raja nanda kumar to submit all the documents before the newly formed supreme court of bengal and raja nanda kumar submitted all the document before the supreme court when the supreme court taken up the case and summoned warren hastings conducted inquiry arrested warren hastings and some of his colleagues this actually broken the relationship between warren hastings and raja nanda kumar and warren hastings wanted to take revenge with raja nanda kumar so warren hastings instigated one of his friend to file a case against raja nanda kumar before the same supreme court making some allegation of forgery those days under english act 1929 if anyone is alleged against forgery the punishment is death capital punishment the supreme court taken up the case conducted inquiry by the time raja nanda kumar placed two important defense before the supreme court first of all he said the supreme court established in the year of 1774 whereas the offense alleged to him the cause of action taken place in the year of 1770 the 1774 act to establish the supreme court doesn't have any retrospective effect so for an offense happened in the year of 1770 cannot be tried by the court established in the year of 1774 the second one he said the punishment prescribed for forgery is enacted at england the english act 1729 which is not at all applicable in india because it is not enacted for indian population he made this two important defense where the supreme court of bengal dismissed this defense so he approached the appellate court at england but the appellate court also not willing to accept his defense and he prayed for stay at bengal that also not granted the bengal court conducted trial day by day day and night and finally the case came to an end and raja nanda kumar was punished under english act 1729 with a capital punishment of hanging and the punishment was executed on 5th of august 1775 and raja nanda kumar was murdered killed and even today the legal researchers claim that it is a good example for judicial murder and violation of basic rights